Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and in the last video we stopped off at the game over button and before we get into scene management, restarting the scene, going to the main menu, one of the things that I really quickly wanted to do was I wanted to make your game a little bit more tricky and a little bit more harder because at the moment it's a bit slow, it's a bit bland and it's really easy to just keep smashing the zombies. So what I wanna do is I wanna add something like as the game progresses, it gets harder and harder. And the way we're gonna do that is essentially by increasing the speed um, with which these zombies rise. So we'll have a score, right? And we already have a score here. So what we'll do is every time the score increases by a certain amount, we'll increase the rise speed by a little bit. And then when it increases again, the score, then we will increase the rise speed again and again. And this is pretty typical of a lot of casual games that the more you play, the harder the game becomes, okay? So over here in my game manager, just for um, the sake of uh, simplicity, I'm gonna go ahead and make the rise speed one for now. And we can tweak this and see what the best rise speed for us is. And I'll go ahead and switch on over um, to our code. So over here in the game manager, uh, let's create a new function and that function will be responsible for increasing the speed with which the zombies um, spawn. So let's call this, we'll call it private void, increase spawn speed. And over here we are essentially going to be increasing um, the speed of the zombie. So what we want to do is we want to check, hey, is the score above a certain threshold? So let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the top and let's create a new variable and we'll call this public and we'll make it public so that we can set the threshold through the inspector. And let's see, public integer and we'll call this score threshold and by default we'll give this five, okay? So we'll say when the score hits five, we are going to increase the speed. Okay, um, so coming over here, what we're going to do is something like so. We'll say, hey, if zombie smashed is anything greater than or equal to my score threshold, okay? So if the number of zombies I've smashed is actually greater than my score threshold, what I wanna do is I wanna increase the speed which, with which they rise, okay? So that's, rise speed plus plus and now I want to create a new score threshold now it just depends on how you want to increase that threshold right you could say hey you know the next threshold should be at 10 uh, and then the next one should be at 15 increasing by 5 but for me what I wanted to do was I wanted to double the threshold every single time so the first time if you kill five zombies um, that's when the speed increases, but then the next time you have to do 10 and then 20 and 40 and so on and so forth. So in my case, what I'm going to do is score threshold times equals 2. And if you're confused about these shorthands, we'll just quickly discuss them. So rise speed, and we've talked about this before, any integer plus plus essentially means you add 1 to it. So this is the same thing as saying rise speed equals rise speed plus plus one, okay? And over here, score threshold time equals two essentially means score threshold equals score threshold times two. So that would be something like score threshold equals score threshold times two. And these are essentially just shorthands that you will see so commonly that it's just easier to become familiar with it and get in the habit of using these, okay? So what we're doing here is essentially we, we're, we're checking, hey, is the score increased past a certain threshold? And if it has, then increase the speed and update the threshold. So now we need to think about, hey, where exactly are we going to be calling this function? And it's a no brainer. Every time we kill an enemy, that's where we're updating the score. So naturally in the kill enemy function, it just seems like a good place to be essentially using this function. So right after I increase my zombie count, what I can do is, hey, I can check and see if I need to increase my speed. So I can just say increase spot speed and like so. Okay, now what I'll do is if we've done everything correctly, switch on over back to Unity and see if everything's working. Okay, so back in Unity, I'm going to give Unity a second to load. And once it's ready, notice how we have this public field exposed here, score threshold, 
And the reason why this is also nice to make it public is not only can we actually change the score threshold from here, we can also actually see a change in the inspector. So if I hit the play button now, and if you keep an eye over here on the rise speed, after, I, after my score goes to five, this rise speed should double essentially. So boom, notice the score threshold is now 10. If I reach my score as 10, then the rise speed will increase once again. Notice now it's three, and you can already see that these guys are going pretty fast. Um, so you can essentially just tweak this as per your own requirements, and once again, the speed has now increased. Uh, so this is looking really well. Our game is a little bit more challenging now, and I think this is a good stopping point, and I will see you in the next video.